Hey, what's up YouTube? Spindle here, and today I'm going to be doing a Yo-Yo and Kendama collection video. This is all of my personal stuff. Um, nobody else's, none of my friends, so yeah, this is all my personal Yo-Yo, Kendama, <clears throat> and all my maintenance stuff. Before we get into the, um, into the collection video, I actually want to make a huge, huge shout out to Team Pulse. I'll put a link right there. What Pulse is, is it's a, um, a gaming channel, and we're just kind of a, a team and a clan, and it's going to be a super fun gaming uh, little team, and uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description, I'll put a link right there, like I just showed you, and yeah, if you want to join, our Instagram is pulse.clan underscore, so... Yeah, go check us out on Instagram, go uh, follow us on YouTube, we're going to be posting Call of Duty, mostly Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos, uh, trick shots, and compilations, cool videos, you know, all that stuff. And yeah, let's get on to the video. The first yo-yo I have over here is my um, Yo-Yo Factory Flight. This is my one of my favorite 4A yo-yos. Um, I use it a lot. Um, great yo-yo for 4 a Really, really nice gap shape here, and it's actually a lot smaller than most 4 a yo-yos, like the big yo over there. I have an unboxing on this too, if you want to check that out. Reflight. Um, here is a Magic Yo-Yo N11. That's my second yo-yo. Pretty nice uh, to get started with. Great for learning tricks and learning string tricks, with because it's got a wide gap. Um, Next yo-yo is my Duncan Metal Drifter. This is my very first yo-yo. Um, this one, I like, this is what got me into yo-yoing. Um, see, look at all those dings around the, um, the edge there. I don't know if the camera will focus. The camera never focuses. You guys probably already know that. But anyways, yeah, that's my Metal Drifter. It's got a lot of scratches, really old, but yeah. Um, this is my Yo-Yo Factory grind machine. Um, this has hub stacks, so it's easy to uh, perform those kinds of um, grinds. And it's actually a really great plastic yo-yo for like finger grinds and whatnot. It's um, yeah, I got a wide gap. Those little thing uh, kind of has a lip, a little lip right here or something, which helps it um, like stay stabilized for grinds. And I have a yo-yo video all about the grind machine if you want to check that out. Really cool tricks. Um, I was with my friend Cook and we were making some cool tricks with it. Next we have my yo-yo factory velocity. And this yo-yo is a great yo-yo um, for learning beginner uh, string tricks and um, like bringing like rock the baby and picture tricks because it can either be responsive or unresponsive. It's got a little dial right here, and what that dial does is when you twist it, it'll change, like, the, uh, response, um, like, it'll go in or out of, like, for the response, so it makes it less or more responsive. So that's it for the velocity. I have a review on that, and, yeah, you should check that out. So, next up is the Yo-Yo Factory One Star. This is a lot like the, um, yo Tricks Sage, so that's what they got the base design off. It's a little bit smaller, um, but yeah, this is a great beginner unresponsive yo-yo because it's plastic and it's very wide gap for learning beginner string tricks. Um, on to this side of the yo-yos. Uh, first we have our COIW Puffin. So th these are sa sort of like more advanced yo-yos. And my COIW Puffin has been a really great yo-yo for making tricks, um, it's got a nice kind of like small shape, so that's really easy for chopsticks. Um, yeah, it's just a great yo-yo overall, a nice rim. I also have an unboxing on the uh, COIW Puffin, so yeah, you could check that out. Wait, and, you know, the COIW when and One Drop Summit. This is by far one of my favorite yo-yos in my collection. I absolutely love it. This was my one of my first really nice yo-yos, um, and I definitely recommend this yo-yo. I have a major yo-yo video on this coming out. I've been making it for a while now, maybe two months or three months, so look for that. Um, 
I'll put a link in the description if it's already out. Next is the Cyborg 2.0. Um, this yo-yo is a really great yo-yo for 3A, actually. See, it's uh, kind of a more thin shape, but it's got a big wide gap, which makes it easier for landing it on the string. So yeah, that's a great yo-yo. I have a um, I have a review on this, so yeah. If you want to check that out, link in the description. Um, next is a kind of a weird one. This is the Yomega Glide. Um, it's actually like a Star Wars paint job special edition. This is a really nice. Um, I think actually I really like this yo-yo, even though it's kind of, I don't know, doesn't feel too like well built, I guess. But it is actually a very nice uh, throw that I recommend to pick up for beginners. Um, next we have my uh, Yo-Yo Factory Dogma. This Yo-Yo is has like almost exactly the same shape as the uh, the Cyborg 2.0, as you can see that. Um, and I thought it would be really good for 3A, but it's actually not. Um, but like the uh, like the Cyborg is good for 3A, but this is actually a 1A Yo-Yo, which is really great. Um, I I usually like just mess around with it. It's a really fun heavy yo-yo to use. Get into the, those advanced string tricks where you need to have the wide gap to get into each string. So that's nice. Next up is the Bimetal Superstar. This yo-yo is by Yo-Yo Factory and it, it's really nice. Um, this is from the mystery box and it's just a really nice yo-yo overall. It's got a nice gap um, width and it's just, I plays very, very light, good for counterweight. I've used it a lot for counterweight. I have a yo-yo video on this if you want to check that out. Link in the description. And this is my nightmare. I, um, I was thinking of using this for uh, 5A or something, or making a yo-yo video for it. You guys tell me if you want to see a yo-yo video for the nightmare. So yeah, I'll be, I might be doing that, and yeah, this is actually one of my favorite yo-yos in my collection because of its shape. I don't know, I just really, really like that shape, how it's just straight down, straight down. And the bimetal rings make it so it's not that heavy, like most yo-yos with this shape. So I love that about the Nightmare. Um, next up is the Yo-Yo Factory Horizon. This yo-yo is one of my first advanced yo-yos, super nice for finger grinds, um, great, like, little gap width. It's a little bit larger than most yo-yos, if you can compare, like, the velocity in it. It's, it's a bit of a bigger yo-yo, so that's really cool. I like the Horizon a lot. Next is the Yo-Yo Jam Big Yo. This yo-yo, it's a beginner for a yo-yo. Um, my friend gave this to me a little bit ago, and it's just a great, like, I think it's a pretty good beginner, um, for a, but I do like the flight a lot, but look at the comparison about how much bigger the big yo is. It's just like crazy. Like look at that. And I think um it's just got a really, really high little ridge here. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's for string tricks, maybe it's for like getting it into the gap, I'm not sure. But it works for me. It's a nice uh foray. Next we have our kendamas over here. Um, so first up is my, uh, Jumbo. This is a Sunrise Jumbo. Um, it's actually a pretty nice Jumbo. I really like it. It's kind of sticky up here, so that makes it easy for, you know, lighthouses and, like, Lunar. And, um, it's got a nice large spike. Uh, I think, I really like this Jumbo. It's really nice. Um, my friend has a Tribute Jumbo, and that's also really nice. But I like my sunrise. Um, next we have this little Serato here. It's kind of like not... It's just a Serato. Um, my friend gave it to me for Christmas. It's <laughs> kind of a random gift, but it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's the Serato. Next we have my Kaizen um, Tiger Eye Stain. This is really nice. Um, great for, like, the weight is just perfect on it. And it's a great, like, um, I think it's a really nice Kaizen, 
uh, it's got, it's kind of slippery and glossy, but that doesn't make it, um, any more harder for, like, J-sticks and, like, whirlwinds. I've gotten whirlwinds a lot with this, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is my, uh, Land and Sea Ken with my, uh, Zen Tama. I don't really have a string on it because it's kind of a random part. I'm not really sure if I like it yet. It's not a very good mix, but... <laughs> I do like the other one, the other mix, which is my Zen Ken and my um, Lindsay uh, Tama because this just is absolutely amazing for lighthouses. Um, great for like the spike, the balance is so good between them, so it's easy for spacewalks. Um, yeah, I just like the Tama a lot more than the raw Tama. Because the raw Tama, I don't know, it's just harder for lighthouses, harder for balance tricks. And I do like balance tricks. Next up is my other Kaizen. It's my Kaizen Silk. Um, also really great Kendama. Um, nice for balance tricks. Super, very, very, like, silky and nice for, very grippy. Um, nice for those tricks. And... It's, uh, it's surprisingly, I don't know why, but this is the Kendama that I've hit the most, uh, trade spikes with, so yeah. That's a, I don't know why, that's just a coincidence, I thought it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's my Kaizen Silk, black. Then we have my cute little minis, look how cute they are, oh my gosh! No, just kidding, these are actually pretty cool. Um, this is a BLK mini, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I have, oh, it doesn't save the logo. This is just one I got off Amazon. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's just a nice little mini. Those are for my Kendamas. And then, finally, the video is about to be over. Um, I have my uh, grip tape. This is all my maintenance stuff, by the way. I have my grip tape uh, for yo-yo and, you know, like, when you don't want to hurt your finger. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I have my tool, really useful for getting out axles, bearings, and cutting string. I have my Duncan glove, also pretty cool. Use this a lot. Um, really easy for doing like hops and tricks and a lot of string tricks, so that's pretty cool. Next I have my two lubes. These are uh, Yomega Brain um, lube, so this is like thick lube, and this is Yo-Yo Jam Thin Velocity response, er, yeah, so that's nice, uh, Yo-Yo Jam Lube, and then we have a few of my bearing stuff, so this is like my, uh, ball bearing stuff, like, just my maintenance kit, kind of, and the, these are my individual, excuse me, individual, um, bearings right here, like this, oops, these three right here, um, so yeah, those are pretty cool, just switch out, switch in, you know, the, they're bearing, so yeah, this is my collection, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I forgot about a few things. Okay, I forgot about my pill, my Terra pill, super nice pill. Um, this is like the main one. Uh, you know, it's normal red, super cool. Next, also have a pill, another pill. Um, this is a five hole. Um, by I don't know what brand this is, but it's a nice pill. Um, slightly lighter than the normal one, but that's great. That's okay. And then my first kendama this is a duncan komodo um really like <laughs> dull spike um i usually try to just get like pull or um i usually just try to get a uh, pull spike on it but you never get it um but yeah that is my collection so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy my videos uh make sure to look out for a pulse um, go check them out on Instagram, check out the links to their YouTube channel, super cool guys, and yeah!